Welcome back to the report. The Uyghur academic Yam Toti was put on trial today by the Chinese government for inciting separatism in the western Yingyang province. The move comes after Toti had been imprisoned in a Chinese jail for almost eight months. He has been reportedly put in leg chains and deprived of food. The announcement of this trial comes following a growing number of domestic attacks in China reportedly by Uyghur separatists. Nathaniel Amos Sansom has more. He is said to effectively be the only voice for Uyghur Muslims in China. But today, the academic and scholar Ilham Tokti officially went on trial. He has been accused by the Chinese government of separatism, a charge that is likely to carry a minimum 10-year jail sentence, with the death penalty also a potential outcome. Referring to a letter in the New York Times by Tokti's daughter, which criticized the government for the arrest, the Chinese foreign ministry said that the trial would be conducted lawfully. Human rights groups have been swift to condemn the move by China, which follows his imprisonment since January, where he has reported to have been kept in leg chains and been denied food for up to 10 days in March following the attack at Kunming Station. And people are very concerned because they're trying him on separatism charges, but there's never been any evidence that he's been involved in separatism or any sorts of violent acts. And so most people view this as a politically motivated trial against him for his opinions that, he's been, that he put out on Uyghur Online, which is a website he started to build dialogue between um, the Uyghur community in China and the broader um, Han ethnicity. While the Chinese government is officially charging him for inciting separatism in the western Xinjiang province, activist groups say that the trial is more about his setting up of the website Uyghur Online in 2005 which was an open forum where Uyghurs and Han Chinese, where they could express freely their grievances with the political system in the province. The website was taken down in 2008, and the Chinese government now blocks all references to Tokti online in the country. The European Union's ambassador to China has raised concerns about the process by which Professor Tokti has been put on trial. Yes, I do share those concerns 100%, but let me also add, it's not just a question of what the uh, EU ambassador thinks or what position he takes. This is a position which is really firmly uh, entrenched in all the statements we have made uh, already for quite a while. And you're also aware that there are statements which were issued by the spokesman for the high representative expressing concern about the treatment of Professor Dotti and about uh, the circumstances surrounding his arrest in general. Official government policy in China for the past 50 years has been to resettle Han Chinese into Xinjiang province and to discourage traditional Muslim and Uyghur traditions. Tensions have been growing in the province in recent years as the indigenous Turkic Uyghurs and the growing Han Chinese population have come into conflict. In March, a group identified by the Chinese government as Uyghur separatists attacked commuters at Kunming Station in southern China killing 31 people and injuring over 140 others. Last Friday, three of the purported 10 people behind the attack were sentenced to death by the Chinese government. These trials by the Chinese government are part of its response to a growing number of domestic attacks and conflicts in and around the Xinjiang province. But whether these moves by the Chinese government prove to be a deterrent or a rallying cry for Uyghurs is difficult to predict. Nathaniel Lema Sansom, The Report, Islam Channel. In the studio to discuss this, we're joined by Dr. Enver Toti Bugda, an independent researcher, and Dr. Rod Wai, Associate Fellow of the Asia Programme at Chatham House. So welcome to the programme, both of you. Um, so Rod, is, is, this a, is this a completely sham trial, a completely show trial? Largely, I think, um, certainly by our standards. Um, once you have entered into the Chinese uh, criminal process in this way, uh, the outcome is, is pretty certain. He will be found guilty. He will probably be given a severe prison sentence. Uh, and the evidence on which this is based will not be severely tested in the courts. Mm. Uh, and, and but do you think that um, uh, do you think that uh, this is the kind of activist that would be attracting this kind of attention that they, they've actually been involved in some of these incidents and involved in separatism? We'll come back to whether or not that's a legitimate thing to do or not. But has <coughs> he actually, as a matter of fact, has he been doing what they say he's been doing? <coughs> well, <coughs> this is uh, to me. It sounds like uh, Chinese government is running out of idea uh, how to deal with Uyghur peoples because they didn't know uh, what this Uyghur people want. And, and it's more, more like um, kill a chicken to scare a monkey.
because um, Professor Ilham Tokti has been advocating his idea for a quite a long time without any problems. He even visited in, in France and then attended the international conference. He didn't change his tone. He always saying that we, are, we want to remain the unity of, uh, with China. We just want uh, more uh, autonomy. And uh, <clears throat> now he got arrested. I think that is more like they are running out of idea what to do. And, and Rod, how serious a threat do you think the Chinese state thinks that Uyghur separatism is? Are, are we just seeing a kind of totalitarian bureaucracy moving forward with w whatever accusation lies to hand? Or are they genuinely concerned that there's a movement here that they should be, that is threatening the unity of China? Um, they are genuinely concerned. There's no doubt about that. They have spent, they uh, expended massive resources on strengthening security in Xinjiang. They were really worried by the uh, outbreaks across China of, of, of violence. Uh, but whether they are truly in their hearts serious about this being a sort of uh, real attempt to split Xinjiang away from China, I think must be questionable. It is a security situation for them. They want uh, peace uh, and security in Xinjiang, and they will uh, take any methods necessary to get that. But it's not about um, an independent Xinjiang. And, and how is this justified in kind of ideological terms internally in China? Because, you know, obviously, um, when we hear somebody charged with separatism, I mean, we're, we're, mm. a, day, we're a day away from a referendum yes, in Scotland. Yes. Um, yes. It, it, you know, it's almost a sort of, you know, does not compute moment. So, but, yeah. so how does this actually work for them to be making this accusation inside China? Um, because it, I mean, I think it, it is something that they feel very strongly about, the unity of the Chinese state uh, under the Chinese Communist Party. And anything that, as it were, opposes the Chinese state is seen as somehow uh, trying to break up, split up um, the, the unity of, of, of China. Uh, and thus they tend to exaggerate these ideas of uh, where people are demanding more autonomy, they see that as real separatism, wanting it to uh, break up, split up China, because it is challenging the central authority of the Chinese Communist Party. I suppose you could say that dynamic is present even in a weak yeah. version in, in, in Scotland. Um, Emma, um, what does it, what, 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 what's the reality of the accusations that the Chinese state is making about the violent attacks being the responsibility of, of, of Uyghurs. Is there a response, a violent response by some Uyghurs? We might think that understandable. Or is this simply a, a, a libel? Is it simply made up? <clears throat> to my un understanding is that the Chinese government, they are more, more afraid of their own Chinese people's up uh, uprising because Chinese government, the CCP, is uh, facing that uh, legitimate of this, uh, uh, having the ruling uh, crisis. So <clears throat> to what is happening in my country, it is uh, the Chinese government's intention to alter that the people's focus to somewhere else mm -hmm. and uh, make this and uh, uh, using that nationalist uh, that's flag and then uh, and, uh, and try to uni uh, unite the, the Han Chinese people themselves. What I want to say is that um, we must remember that uh, CCP, they born with chaos and grow with uh, tyranny and die with order. Mm. So and the CCP, and they will do whatever it takes to maintain not order but chaos. Mm. Uh, Rod, do you, do you think that's true? That the, the, the response—I mean, this, this wouldn't be this wouldn't be new in in the the sort of lexicon of governments, especially authoritarian ones, that the Uyghurs are being hit because the Communist Party is worried about a general unrest rather than anything the Uyghurs themselves are doing. I think it, it is partly that. Yes, I mean they are worried about general unrest, but they are particularly and worried about. And is that on the rise? <sighs> Who can tell? I mean, China is a huge place. We get more information about things happening in China, certainly. Uh, but whether uh, the, well, the central state pays and spends an awful lot of money on internal security, huge amounts. Uh, so they must take this seriously. Uh, and it is difficult always in an authoritarian state to keep the lid on the people. Uh, 
because uh, you know things break out all over the place and they try and keep everything under control. So I think, yes, there is a, a, a larger general worry, but there is a particular worry about Xinjiang uh, and, and Tibet, of course, mm -hmm. uh, where there is a strong difference, to be, you know, to be absolutely honest, between the peoples living there and their cultures and the Han Chinese culture. So it's not just about Chinese state, it's also a, cult, a serious cultural difference. Mm. Mm. Is, there, is there anybody left now who's standing up within China? Is there anybody who will stand up and defend Ilan Toti? China, it is a country, and, and three of us, we can't keep our secret. Only two of us, we may keep our secret. That is why I don't believe that an organized resistance cannot take place. Mm. So, therefore, just things happen there. It is, uh, to me, it's, uh, it is really weird. And then it, it cannot explain why these things can happen here. And uh, why it is in such uh, uh, format, uh, not uh, reflecting that uh, that problem between two nations, but uh, uh, corresponding to the political turmoil in Beijing. Okay, well, I'll have to leave it there.